I'll quickly touch on HIV AIDS as it relates to dementia. Um, you'll hear AIDS dementia, it's in sort of some board prep resources. In real life, we typically call this HIV associated neurocognitive disorder or HAND or HAD, but HAND is, is more typical. And it's just a, again, there's, you're more likely to have dementia when you live with HIV or AIDS. And so it's sort of a diagnosis of exclusion after other, there's some selective pathologic findings, but nothing, again, just mentioning it as it is, a, is a something that you might see. HIV and AIDS can also cause sort of what looks like a rapidly progressive dementia with a progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. And so again, what you need to know about this is a reactivation of a virus that lives in many of us, right? So most, some, a lot of people are JC virus positive. They tend to take a, a medicine that suppresses their immune system. That virus can then grow and cause progressive, multivocal, all over leukoencephalopathy, right? So leuko meaning white, encephalo meaning brain, apathy meaning disease of, right? So disease of the white matter of the brain. Um, they get very sick, very fast, alter mental status, and the MRI is going to show that their white matter everywhere is, is affected. There, again, there's more, but that's sort of, if you had to take two lines away, that's what I would take. Versus primary CNS lymphoma, which is another sort of declining disorder that can be associated with HIV and AIDS. These people typically, the question will be about headache with a focal neurologic deficit, or they'll just show you the imaging. They won't make you pick it out clinically because it's a little harder. Um, this one is associated with EBV infections and the MRI is gonna show a ring enhancing lesion. What other condition can cause ring enhancing lesions in the brain in someone with a CD4 count below 200? Toxo, I know everyone's like toxo, toxo, toxo. So I, there are gonna be situations where the question is gonna expect you to differentiate between primary CNS lymphoma and toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis tends to be more widespread, more multifocal, right? So there tends to be multiple ring enhancing lesions. If you see one big one, think more CNS lymphoma. CNS lymphoma can be multiple, but again, that's sort of the distinction that I've seen in my mind be most helpful from an imaging standpoint, distinguish those two on tests.